No visible signs of panic on the streets of Athens. No queues at banks. The ATM machines no more busy than normal. But the figures emerging from Greece's central bank are certainly cause for worry. Greek savers withdrew more than $890 million on Monday and a similar figure again on Tuesday. It's not a full-scale run on the banks, not yet, but it's a sign of deep-seated concern. We don't trust banks. I keep our savings at home to get by just in case. There's a lot of fear. There's no point in having money in the bank. It's the same as keeping it at home. Even a bank collapse won't make much difference. Banks aren't lending money to anyone anyway. Everyone is very worried. Don't you see what's going on with bank liquidity? I hear that people are taking their money out of banks. They are worried that we might go back to the drachma. They are putting their money in safety deposit boxes. It's crazy. It's as if there's a war coming. But one former minister believes only the scepticism of Greeks has prevented a bank run. People don't trust anyone. They don't even trust their parties. They don't trust the television programs. They don't trust journalists. They don't trust uh, you know, pandits. They don't trust anyone. So I believe that one of the reasons of this lack of trust is why we don't have a panic in our hands. And there is no run on the banks. Because based on purely on the reports you hear, you'd have expected that people would be, you know, in, in panic, they, they, they would be out of their minds. It's important to put the behaviour of the last couple of days into some context. Back in April of 2010, just before the first bailout was agreed, Greeks withdrew some $10 billion from their accounts. This last two days has seen barely a sixth of that withdrawn. There is, though, a desperate need for some calming influence to prevail. There's another election coming. The party leaders gathered at the presidency again on Wednesday to hear June the 17th named as the date for the new poll. And with politicians not even able to agree on a caretaker administration, the president has had to appoint Greece's most senior judge as interim prime minister. Taking responsibility away from the party leaders may be the only way to restore some degree of calm.